it's Mike back again, building a new house in The Sims 3. Thanks for waiting a month to hear from me. Uh, I appreciate your patience. I've been really busy with school lately, so I haven't really been able to post as much as I'd like to. Um, also, this house took me three months to actually build. Uh, it took me since August, uh, about to last week, actually. So thanks for waiting. And here it is, finally. It's called Cape Getaway. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a really big house. Um, the reason why it's called Cape Getaway is because it's based on the architecture of Cape Cod, Massachusetts in New England, and I really love this house, actually. I think it's one of my best. Hopefully you like it, too. Uh, as you can see, we just put the roofing on it, and now we're putting some of the wall coverings on it. Uh, now we're putting some landscaping in. Uh, I love that pond. Of course, you're on this island, which I really like. It's my first island house. I've never done like a deserted island house before. Um, and of course, it's a New England style house. Uh, there is a fireplace inside and a lot of other features that are New England based. But I thought that since I'm doing an authentic New England style house, I wanted to bring that into here. Uh, even though we're in a tropical paradise where it's never going to get cold, um, unless, of course, you want it to with seasons. But, uh, yeah, I really like how it turned out. So here we are in the front, starting to add some landscaping. Uh, there's a dock, of course, since you're on an island. Uh, the only way to get there is from uh, if you go on a boat or if you swim there. So there's two nice speedboats in front, and also the front entrance is right there. Uh, adding in some plants and rocks, and now we're in the back adding some more windows in. Um, of course, some of the main features that make this a New England style house really uh, are the uh, dormers at the top and the third floor kind of barn style roof where you have the room for the um, third floor because the roof is so high. Uh, and also, of course, the um, turret um, adds that Cape Cod style feel. It's my first time doing this kind of house too and I really think it turned out nice. Uh, of course, you have the pool in the back, uh, and there's fountains as well. Adding in some more coverings uh, for the walls and some more plants. And here we are, just about to go inside the house. And you'll see the house is actually really big as far as the floor plan size. So, uh, yeah, it's really big. It took me so long to furnish it. Um, as you can see, it's very split up on the right side of the house, and the left side's more open. Uh, here's the kind of entryway. I really tried to make it look like you could enter in either way of the house. There's no real definite front or back, mainly because this is a, a island house, so I really wanted to make it very open. There's the kitchen. Uh, I really went with like a yellowish orange kind of backdrop backsplash, which I think turned out pretty nice. Uh, bathroom on the right side. And now we're moving into the kind of living area, it, you know, there's a, um, there's a TV room off to the side and a uh, nice reading nook, actually. And also a gym on the left side, and now we're in the bathroom. Really open bathroom. It's meant to be like your one bathroom for the whole floor, so it needs to be pretty big. Now we're on the second floor, which is where most of the bedrooms are, except for one on the third floor, and also all of the other bathrooms are up here as well. Of course, a really nice sitting area and uh, landing, and then also an extension of the landing right here with a TV and foosball table. Uh, here's the shared bathroom. It's shared with the other ba bedroom on the other side of that bathroom. And then the you know, first, ba first bedroom and also a study off to the right side um, connecting to the landing. Here's another bathroom, of course, I really like that the shower that kind of uh, is split off from the bathroom. Here's a girl's bedroom, um, I have some cool effects with that, the, the uh, shelving and the columns. Uh, another be bedroom over here, uh, more of like a teen's bedroom. Uh, kind of a guest bedroom over here. Uh, I don't really like this bedroom that much, I think it turned out kind of ugly, but I, I kind of went with it anyway. Here's the master suite, uh, master bedroom, and then the bathroom is coming up. Uh, of course, you have that really nice balcony off of the bedroom. And here's the master bedroom, uh, bathroom, sorry. 
a really big ba bathroom, uh, a shower, and a bathtub. And now we're on the upstairs uh, third floor attic area. Just a bedroom and a uh, study. And that's about it. So thanks for watching this video and please enjoy the rest of the video.